Hello and welcome citizens. We're gonna go through the Mercury Star Runner info and the Q&A and give our thoughts, opinions and maybe some light speculation about the ship. Um, this is thanks to Jedi Drifter who has requested this video. Let's get started. Okay, so Mercury Star Runner is a recently revealed ship. It's a data and cargo transport with an asymmetrical design uh, which looks kind of cool to me I like it I know a few people don't like asymmetrical ships they they like to go for their symmetrical look but I quite like this one yeah same uh, it's got an internal vent system for people that want to crawl around or I don't know, if alien life forms get on your ship and want to kill you always good xenomorphs yeah, see the most. <laughs> uh, it's got two man turrets, both with size two weapon hardpoints, and the pilot has a gimbal size two repeater, two big gimbal size two repeaters on the front. Uh, it's also got a scanner array on the top. There's a small little dish. The size is forty meters by thirty eight and eleven meters high with an all-glass cockpit view and we know the uh, citizens love all-glass cockpit views yes, nothing worse than having bars yeah a lot of people have uh, issues with struts and bars across their view yeah some of them are a bit excessive but yeah yeah <laughs> and the ship has 96 cargo units to play with which is more than a freelancer I believe yeah 66 in a freelancer I believe Right. It has two medium power plants, two medium shield generators. It's quite a bit. Of so same shield as a freelancer, I believe. Depending on which component they're putting, obviously. Um, it's got two medium intakes, two medium fuel tanks, and two medium quantum fuel tanks. So it can definitely do the distance. Oh yeah. Um, it's described as having light armor, so it'd probably be a little bit more reliant on the shields, but hopefully not too much. Yeah. Maybe same sort of armor as a cutlass, maybe. It's got uh, four data cores in the middle of the ship, and is heavily inspired by popular ships like the Millennium Falcon and Serenity. Yeah, definitely see that. Yeah, you can tell that from the design straight away. Although not too much, they, they didn't copy them. Yeah, it's um, got its definitely got its own look. Definitely got its own look. And that's kind of what they were going for. They wanted their um, their Millennium Falcon of the universe. And, yeah. Uh, they've pretty much got, like, got that spot on. Uh, it's also got a hollow chest set in the uh, restroom which at the flip of a button can be uh, retracted into the floor I believe of the ship so nice and hidden away when you're not using it interesting yeah, because we all know we need hollow chest sets yeah apparently um, that is the reason OCS is delayed so, <laughs> yeah uh, just that <laughs> yeah so point all your hate at the hollow chest set <laughs> And it's got a price tag of two hundred and twenty-five dollars. That is, um, yeah, that's uh, what double the freelancer. Yeah, pretty much. It's at least a hundred dollars more or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It can do data running and and it can do transport and it can do sorry more cargo transport than the freelancer. Yeah, it's definitely more ship, so uh, it does make sense. Oh yeah, definitely get more ship for your your buck. Gonna have to sell an organ to buy one, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Weapon wise, um, not as aggressive as the Freelancer, definitely. Not sure about the Cutlass. Yeah. Can't remember exactly what weapons the Cutlass gets, but definitely not as aggressive as a Freelancer in, in terms of the weapons. Yeah. yeah. Um, size 2 weapons, what do, what do we feel about that? Eh. I mean, it's alright. 
the 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 it's definitely not going to be it's going to be more of an annoyance i think than um than too much of a threat i think for a lot of ships in the game but, um, yeah but i suppose it's not his main focus so that's fair enough mm. yeah i think they fit quite well um, yeah. of course the pilot for the pilot option you can take off the gimbals and have size three weapons on the front yeah, if that's what you need then you can do that yeah so overall on the stats page uh, I like the sound of the ship yeah, um, as a person that goes for support roles more often than not um, it, you know getting a ship that can do a couple of different things is right up my my alley yeah yeah definitely and the ship looks pretty cool from the pictures I've seen okay let's go on to the Q&A so first question is what are the differences in scanning between a ship like the Terrapin and the Mercury are they similar enough that a Mercury can be fitted to perform a Terrapin's role equally well or better and uh, no um so the Mercury is meant to have a weaker scanner array than the Terra, um, which it should really. The Terrapin is designed to do this. Yeah. It should have the stronger scanner suite. Yeah, I mean it, it makes sense. I mean you you wouldn't want to sort of push the Terrapin out out of its sort of useful zone by giving another ship the abilities that it has. It just it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. So whereas the Terrapin could scan a target down from the other side of the system, the uh, Mercury will have to get closer to be able yeah. to find that same target. Might not even be able to get as much info as the Terrapin can get. But again, makes sense. I mean, if, if, you, if you're good at one thing, then, um, then it makes sense to be better than other things that are good at a few things, you know? You, yeah. It just, yeah, it's logic, really. Okay, next up. Considering its weaponry and supposed light armour, shouldn't the Mercury be faster than the Cutlass or Vanguard, which are armoured and have more firepower? To follow up, the Mercury is considered to be fast, but the stats show us it's not much faster than a Freelancer. Can we expect the speeds to be adjusted? Yeah, yeah, the speeds will get adjusted when they actually produce the ship. Um, I think they said that the way it works is they have a, a category um, so ship is designed at a certain size it gets a predetermined speed that's it and then when they actually design the ship properly uh, and uh, get it in game that's when they start tweaking and balancing the speeds so yes the speeds will be adjusted when the game uh, when the ship becomes flight ready makes sense mentioned in the design notes for electronic warfare the Drake Herald will have a dedicated E-War suite. Will the Mercury follow this data running trend and also have E-War capabilities? No, the, um, uh, they specifically said that the Mercury will not be able to do any kind of E-War, just uh, data retrieval and data running, yeah. that's all. So don't expect your Mercury to be hacking into capital vessels and messing up their equipment. Again, you know, makes sense, it's logical. You know, if you give this ship every capability, then you won't need another ship. So. Will the Mercury enter the ship pipeline soon and serve as a template for the larger Crusader ships? Uh, yes, they're going to use this ship and the Starlifter, I think, to make the bigger ship, which is the um, Starliner, which is like the 747 type uh, people transport commercial people transport um, but they said that there's no plan just yet put it into production and to just kind of keep an eye on the roadmap for when they put it in there <laughs> yes that's uh, always wise focus on a roadmap that's forever changing yeah <laughs> <laughs> next up is the Mercury expected to be able to fit through small jump points? 
Um, right, I think they said they it will be able to go through the same jump points as a freelancer. And I think the freelancer can do small jump points. Um, I mean, it would be kind of pointless having a, um, a cargo ship that can't go through small jump points. Um, yeah. It's, it's kind of what it's meant to be doing. Be a little bit limiting if you, yeah, kind of just stuck out in these <laughs> yeah. large, bl bloody, yeah, large liner um, jump points or whatever. That'd be a bit dark. Yeah. So. Is the back ramp the only entrance to the ship? Uh, yes. The um, the Mercury only has one entrance, so that's a, a rear ramp um, where the cargo goes into. That is the only entrance. Um, you can see that on the designs uh, and all the pictures that they released. So um, this was kind of a pointless question, but I suppose some people need clarity on everything. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, it's always like two or three people who just need it need it written down <laughs> yeah um, i kind of like it to be honest you know you look at like the things that it was modeled after millennium falcon serenity you know but you never really saw though anyone enter those ships from any other door they always ran in through the back being shot at you know so yeah exactly <laughs> kind of kind of like that i think that's a, that's a good idea Why only three beds and max crew of three when you have a pilot, co-pilot, and two turret gunners? Shouldn't it have four beds and be max crew of four? Yeah, I can, I can uh, kind of see what they're going for. Um, the the response was that there's actually five workstations on the ship. There's the pilot, the co-pilot, a scanner, and the two turrets. Mm. So technically there's five. Um, but the ship only has three beds. I mean, I mean that's fine. Um, at any one time, you're, gonna, you're not all going to be sleeping at the same time. No. Three beds is fine. I think I think that works. You know, three people taking a rest or logging off or whatever you want to do in your bed, and then uh, you know, probably have a, a pilot or someone at least flying the ship and someone else keeping watch. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, if you know, if all, if everyone on the ship wanted to log off at the same time, is that going to cause an issue? We don't really know yet. Um, we know that we'll be able to log out on beds and log back in in beds. Mm. Um, if you try to log in at the same time as someone else, do you telefrag that person? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> we don't know that. Yeah, that would be quite fun. Reroll, but yeah, <laughs> reroll. <laughs> New character. Yeah. No, yeah, we don't know. So, watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> Next up. As a versatile ship, will the Mercury have variants or modules to remove the data running equipment and focus the ship on different roles? Yeah, they said um, there's no plan at the moment to have any other variants for the ship, which personally I think they missed our trick on. Um, a lot of people now associate the ship as a smuggling ship. Just because it can do it, now everyone labels it as that thing. Yeah. Um, if they had done two versions of the ship, so one would be plain normal ship, um, and the other one would have um, smuggling compartments for those people that want to do that then I don't think the ship would be immediately labelled as a smuggling ship uh, at the moment if you when you see one of these in the verse you, you're automatically going to think it's a, it might be a smuggling ship yeah. whereas if there was two different versions you wouldn't quite know whether it was or not Personally, I think they've missed the trick there. Um, as this isn't an actual dedicated smuggling ship, it's been mentioned a few times, but the actual initial de design brief was for a data and cargo runner. Yeah, I mean that, you know, that makes sense to to have a ship, you know, because the problem is, is that everyone associates your ship as a smuggling ship, and you are a smuggler. It just makes it so much easier to catch you. 
<laughs> yeah. You know, if, if people think, well, that's a data running ship, but there is the option to have a smuggling stash in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It does kind of just, even if anything, it just adds to the role play aspect of it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely missed out there. Can you give us a gameplay example of legal data collection versus illegal data collection? Ideally, including both PVE and PvP scenarios. Yeah, like maybe gave a few examples. Um, legal ones were for PVE. Um, say you had a mission to collect asteroid information and take it back to the quest giver. That's legal. Um, PvP version was um, a quest giver asks you to track down a ship. So you go find the ship and take the, the data back to the quest giver. Fine. Um, illegal versions were intercepting secure data and selling it to either a quest giver or taking it off of another player and selling it. Right. Um, but yeah, this is kind of um, kind of self-explanatory. I mean, if if you're unsure of the uh, the difference between legal and illegal um, in game, then I, I worry about your interpretation of that in the real world as well. <laughs> yeah, it kind of it, it it's kind of a bit common sense, you know. I mean, if if you find yourself wondering, should I be doing that? Then you probably shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> basically, it's, exactly. It's, it's very simple. Trust your gut. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just go so. with the gut. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's it. I mean, there's going to be loads of grey areas when it comes to there. Are, you know, there will be things where you think, oh, I, I'm not sure if this is legal or illegal. But um, yeah, in time, it's gonna it's it's all gonna make sense once we're playing the game. But um, but yeah, definitely just um, use some common sense. You'll be fine. Does the Mercury have a bathroom, kitchen, dining table, gun rack, and armor storage for all crew members? Um, I mean, look at the size of the ship. I don't think you're going to get you're going to fit a, a bathroom, kitchen, and dining table for five people <laughs> in that thing. But um, one communal one, but yeah, there'll be a bathroom, kitchen, dining table, communals, and the gun rack. I think. Yeah. And then the armor storage, uh, I think there's going to be suit storage for each person on the ship. Um, yeah. But yeah, there, there's not going to be five bathrooms. No, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, a lot of the larger ships have, you know, a rack of suit storage for everyone. But um, I love the idea of like having a kitchen each because you just, you know, like <laughs> separate dining tables because you hate each other, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although bathrooms make sense because you know it's space and everyone's filthy, but um... yeah, yeah, <laughs> save spacing. I'm pretty sure there's only going to be one. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm reading that a little too literal, but uh... <laughs> 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 yeah, funny idea. Uh, but yeah, that's that's cool. I mean, so long as you've got you know the main communal areas and everyone gets their own little kind of locker, then that's cool. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay, and lastly, does the Mercury have an airlock for EVA, or will we need to decompress the entire cargo room to get out of the ship in space? Well, there's only one entrance into the ship, so you'll have to decompress the cargo bay, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> they did mention, door. yeah, they did mention that there's going to be an airlock between the cargo bay and the rest of the ship, but yeah. You're going to have to decompress that cargo bay if you want to go outside. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, unless you're, you're transporting livestock or something, um, you know, you're not, it's not really going to matter if you decompress your cargo bay. Yeah, not really. No. Or, you know, or just, you know, put that livestock in your little smuggling compartments, you'll be fine. But... <laughs> <laughs> it could be quite a good intimidation tool um, if you've got a. Um, I don't know, a hostage or someone in the cargo bay. And uh, yeah. You sort of start playing with the uh, decompressed button to yeah. get a reaction out of them. Yeah, I'm just going to pop out for a minute. Like, no! <laughs> yeah, no! <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you look at um, 
yeah, again, going back to the the, the design uh, inspirations for this, the uh, Millennium Falcon and all that. I mean, you know, they. I mean, I'm pretty confident that in a lot of these ships, they always seem to have a um, a chamber somewhere where they can get out into space and do a spacewalk. But majority of them just have a big back door, and if you open it, you fly out and die. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although in Star Citizen, at the minute, you don't fly out and die. You'll be fine. So yeah, you'll be right. Oh dear. But yeah, no, that that makes sense. It's a big area. You just open it up, and your cargo will be. As long as you strap your cargo down, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Yeah. Okay, so that rounds up the information we have for the, the Mercury Star Runner and the Q&A questions. Um, overall, I like the look of the ship. I like its features and equipment. And I'll be looking to buy one of these in the universe. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I like it. I, I'll definitely ride in yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's there's other things that I'm, I'm, I've got my eye on at the minute. But yeah, this is... It's a really nice looking ship. I love what they've done with the design and the style. And um, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely, I think it's definitely going to be a popular ship. Oh, yeah. I can see it being uh, very popular when it comes out. Okay, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like the vid, give it a like and subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Bye for now. Bye.